Politics is full of lying, sniveling cucks. But Secret Audio just dropped, and it might reveal the biggest frauds of them all. I foresee trouble in someone's future. Okay, well, let's roll the tape on that. This is Not My Party, brought to you by The Bulwark. Politicians are natural fibbers. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> we found the weapons of mass destruction. That is bullshit! They pretend to like people they actually hate all the time. Mitch, we really are friends. I've known, liked, and personally respected Joe Biden for many years. I don't believe this. I don't, <clears throat> I don't believe you. But a new book called This Will Not Pass uncovered some political deception that's a little different than the norm. A book? A special book. The book revealed that in private, a couple prominent politicians unequivocally slandered the former president. One called him despicable and a son of a bitch. He said about January 6th, if that's not impeachable, I don't know what is. The second said he would tell Trump that he should resign and that he's responsible for the attack on the Capitol. Strong, bewildering words. Let's be clear here. These guys were not just saying that they didn't like Trump's mean tweets or whatever. They believed he caused the death of five people and injuries to dozens of police officers who protect them. They thought he was so dangerous that he had to be removed from office. So who are these snifflers? I wonder. Could be anyone. Behind quote number one, we have, yup, Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell. <gasps> yes! And behind quote number two, who could it be? I'm so nervous. You guessed it, Republican House leader Kevin McCarthy. I might have known. Now let's contrast those quotes with what these pricks are peddling in public. President Trump has done a fantastic job. I trust what the president will do. If the president was the party's nominee, would you support him? Absolutely. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. These cowards continue to slob that despicable son of a bitch's knob, even though he has no power at all. Trump's spending his night DJing for cougars at his D-list country club. You know what gets him rocking? YMCA. It's you an underrated know? track. In short, McConnell and McCarthy have been politically cuckolded by a con man. How much more pathetic could they be? Would they let him degrade their wives? Don't answer that, Ted Cruz. Trump retweeted this image. Cruz's wife in an unflattering pose next to Melania Trump. You mess with my wife, Donald, you're a sniveling coward. So will you support him as the nominee? Donald Trump will be overwhelmingly re-elected as president of the United States. <laughs> Hilariously, when the New York Times published their quotes, Kevin McCarthy thought he was gonna put on his big boy pants and tell the reporters that they lied. A few hours later, the reporters dropped the audience. Listen for yourself. Would be my recommendation. You should be that would be my take. Fake news. By the way, whoever leaked that phone call, so I guess in the cucked competition between him and Mitch, it's McCarthy who wins by a hair. Well, this is just nonsense. But the most relevant part of this is what comes next. These two leashed submissives are likely the next Senate Majority Leader and Speaker of the House. So if they win in the midterms, Congress will be run by two guys who've been exposed as political puppets for Trump, despite the fact that in private, they wish he were dead. That would be awful. <laughs> McConnell's even quoted in the book as saying he was exhilarated on January 6th because he thought Trump had put a gun to his head and pulled the trick. Not exactly subtle. So how can anybody trust these guys to do the right thing after they've been revealed to be completely full of shit? If you're a Trump supporter, you can't trust them. And if you're a Trump hater, you have to be sickened by this. I am. But because of our polarized politics and the lack of courage in DC, there might be no way out of this prisoner's dilemma. All of us are stuck in here with them and they're collared by him. This is a bummer, man. That's a bummer. As a result, we might end up with the weakest congressional leaders in memory, even weaker than these guys, unable to do anything without the permission of a retired, disgraced boomer. Too depressed. See you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, hit that subscribe button.